Well, the doctors told me that I can't compete tonight, let alone anymore, since I jacked up my neck last week during the attack. Well, I'll at least be having one more match at WrestleMania. Undisputed Era, I'll have my team ready. You just be ready. And I'll be out there tonight with Psycho Wolf. Little Wolf can't compete tonight. That infuriates me. Now that I don't have an opponent and everybody else is injured, I guess I was crowned a Money in the Bank shot against Shayna. I guess I'll just cash it in tonight. Since it is NXT TakeOver Rival. Well, Psycho Wolf looks like she's having her title match tonight. But how about the information we just heard? Little Wolf is no longer able to compete. He jacked up his neck. Well, I don't know what that means. But he said that during the attacks last week, he jacked up his neck. And he's no longer able to compete. We knew that Little Wolf was a little bit older. We just didn't expect his career to end so abruptly. But he said he's going to go against doctor's orders. At WrestleMania, he wants to take on the Undisputed Era with his team. But he's going to be on Psycho Wolf's side tonight. But Shayna Baszler said that she has someone... That's going to be on her side tonight. But it's not Marina Shafir. And Jessamyn Duke. That looks. Yes it is. That is Kyle O'Reilly. From Undisputed Era. Talk about mind games in a way. But you also got to expect it in some cases. Shayna's fellow horsewoman. Marina Shafir's husband. So in a way you got to expect. Expect that. The NXT Women's Championship is on the line. Here we go. We don't know who Hellhound, or I should say Little Wolf, has in store for his team, but, I mean, is it wise to go against doctor's orders if your neck is that bad that you can no longer compete? Oh, nice knee strike from the Psycho Wolf. We learned last week on NXT that the relationship between the Psycho Wolf and Little Wolf is actually Little Wolf trained Psycho Wolf.
huge slam. Psycho Cutter, she calls that. Roderick Strong distracting Psycho Wolf now. Little Wolf really can't do much about this. He's not, he wasn't able to really compete tonight. And Shayna Baszler keeps the championship off the distraction. Shayna Baszler steals the victory with the help of Roderick Strong. Little Wolf says, Roderick Strong, you are making things even more personal. But I got my team ready. I'll see you tomorrow at WrestleMania. The next day at WrestleMania. The Undisputed Era are here. We all know why. They will be taking on Little Wolf and his team. Adam Cole, Roderick Strong, Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish. They're waiting in the ring for Little Wolf. Going against Doctor's Orders tonight, but he said he wants to have one more match before he retires for good. But the question is, did he get a good team or did he get any team at all the little wolf is here he gave me notes on each one of why he chose them who is it first member of his team looks like Finn Balor he says He's always trusted Finn Balor. He's always had respect for him. So Finn Balor joining Little Wolf's team tonight. He said, I chose Kevin Owens because Kevin Owens is one heck of an athlete. And he has beef with the Undisputed Era leading back a few months to... At before Survivor Series. And his final person. Can it. Can it be. He got the fiend. He says. He indeed. Got the Fiend on his side because him and the Fiend go way back. He said him and the Fiend have been friends for years. One of the Fiend's very little amounts of friends. This is first pinfall wins. Looks like Little Wolf and Roderick Strong starting it out. But already going after the injured neck that is requiring surgery. That is why he has to retire. Drastically going after the neck. I think Little Wolf made a little bit of a mistake of starting this match out. Adam Cole in now. Might have been thinking similar moves there.
Photo Wolf drastically needs a tag. Oh, stunner from Little Wolf for one count. Sling Blade, drop kick. Neck breaker. Close lining Adam Cole over the ropes. Little Wolf might be getting a little bit over her head here. You got a six count. Seven. Needs to get Adam Cole back in the ring. Double count out. Little Wolf is not happy. That his last match has to end like that. Little Wolf says backstage, I must stand by my word. The doctors will not let me compete anymore. So unfortunately, that was my last match. No matter whether it was a draw or not. I just have to give it to the Undisputed Era. Storyline or not, they're one heck of a team. And I'm glad I had some backup out there tonight, but sad you guys didn't get to get in the match, but it was still quite interesting to have you out there. But it's not all bad. I mean, I had one heck of a career from Hellhound to Little Wolf. Those of you guys don't know who Hellhound was, he's been wrestling or I've been wrestling under the mask of Hellhound for quite some time. Even in here in the WWE. Well, for at least a good eight years, I wrestled under the name Hellhound. Then I left for a good couple years. Came back as Little Wolf. Was able to uh, fight in the Indies for about a year. Came to WWE and had a good couple months. At least a month. But it was great to have my career end out in the big leagues. I just wish well for my protege, Psycho Wolf. Psycho Wolf continued wrestling for three years. She became a three-time Raw Women's Champion. And two-time NXT Women's Champion. Until she decided to retire after three years to have children. This was the final episode of Little Wolf Rises. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was kind of bittersweet way for him to end. But I knew he had to eventually end at some point. And whether it was Hellhound or Little Wolf, I felt like he would continue wrestling for many years. Um, and you guys grew to um, be fans of Little Wolf and Hellhound. And I appreciate that. He will always be in my heart. And he will always be in the wrestling. As I will always be in the wrestling. Um, and he had a long career throughout the WWE and elsewhere. Like I said, you figure if he wrestled eight years in the WWE as Hellhound. Um, two years off. A year in 
the indies, so you figure that's nine years in wrestling, almost ten years in wrestling, that's a long career for him, um, so, with that said, I think it was time to come to an end, but, I have another announcement I wanted to announce in this episode. I know that I said that Sims Fosters, which will be where Jack and MR, if you guys watch my Sims uh, series, is, are going. Sims Fosters will be taking the spot of Little of Rises on Saturday. I originally had it planned for Wednesday, but I have changed my mind, um, and I thought this would be a better fit. So, on Wednesdays, it will just be the video of the weeks again. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.